Well, Russ, well done. It was a comprehensive win the other night. Uh, good night for the club as well. Great night for the football club. Um, you know, fantastic crowd, good performance, um, and the three points. So, yeah, we um, we we on a good run of form at the moment. So we'll take that into Saturday. I spoke to Josh Gowling after the game. He had no complaints about the red card at all. But the key thing from Harry's point of view, I thought, was you absolutely made it count straight after the red card. Uh, yeah, I've, I said to a few people yesterday, it's always hard playing against 10 men sometimes. Um, but we scored literally, I think, within two minutes. And I think that deflated them a little bit. And we really um, stepped on the gas for the next 10 minutes then. Uh, potentially could have scored one more before half time. But listen, I think um, we controlled the game after that. We managed it really well. Um, been able to get some rest into some good players as well and, 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 and go again, get some minutes into others. So it was it was a good night, a really good night for the football club. The key moment for me, I don't think it would have made any difference at all to the ultimate result, but it was Hereford's best chance of the game came in pretty much immediately after Sam Austin and put you in front. Yeah, we give the ball away really sloppily and um, like I said, uh, that could have it could have changed the game. If, if they scored, they could have put the men behind the ball and kind of regrouped again, but wasn't to be, didn't score. So... Um, you know, like I said, we managed the game really well um, and we looked good. Even as 11 v 11, I think we were starting to put some impetus on the game um, and stamp our authority on it. So, overall, pleasing night. 3,900 here on a Tuesday night in February. I mean, that speaks volumes, doesn't it, really? Uh, I think it's just where the club is at the moment. We're in a really good place. Uh, we want to continue that, continue the momentum and make it bigger and better. That's what I'm here to do. Um, of course, it's all based on results and what we do uh, on the field. Um, but if they can mirror that off the field, then it's a recipe for success and that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Given all the hype that there was, understandably, around the FA Cup run, you must be delighted by how the sides responded since then. For sure. Um, it's funny, actually, we've just been talking about it. Would we have won the next two games if we'd beat West Ham? Who knows? Of course we wanted to win and you know, it was gut-wrenching not to, but the response from the players um, has been fantastic, really. Two wins, two clean sheets, convincing performances. Um, I'm more delighted with that to be honest. I think it took a hell of a lot out of us the FA Cup week, um, physically and emotionally. So um, delighted with it all to be honest. I know it's one game at a time. You've got two home games coming now, you know, in four days already. So it's a chance to push on, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Um, I think you're right. I think it's always one game at a time because we can't we can't control Boston next Tuesday. What will be will be that night, and who we pick. You know, I'll pick a team to win the game this Saturday against Alfreton. Um, We've trained well today, um, you know, nursing a few little niggles, but so is every football club at this time of the year. And we'll see who's, who's available and ready to go because it'll be a one hell of a game on Saturday. A really tough game against a, a very experienced manager for the level. So, um, not to be disrespected one little bit, probably be our toughest game of the season. And do you know pretty much what you're going to get from Overton, really? Certainly do, certainly do. What, I know what Billy's teams are about. He's been promoted twice from this level. Um, so what's not to um, respect to be honest you know I know Billy quite well um, speaks very highly of us and I'll do exactly the same I'll say. Over a number of years now when I'm covering clubs at this level at Hereford and Harriers obviously you look at the bench sometimes on a team sheet to see the, the strength in depth really because you know, there have been times in the past where the bench has looked a bit thin but I looked the other night and I thought blimey them they've got plenty of strength in depth now. Yeah we, we, we've recruited really well this year uh, players who want to be at the football club players who want to play for me um, and you know, of course, we've only got a couple of injuries now as opposed to the four or five a few weeks ago. So it makes it a hell of a lot healthier. Um, but it's keeping them players hungry from now to the end of the season. Um, but that's my job and delighted to have uh, the numbers we've got at the moment. The league table probably would suggest at the moment that Gateshead are, are the best side in the division because they're top of it. Um, is that how you see it? You play them all now, I think, probably. Yeah, yeah, well, they are until the end of the season. We'll decide who, who the best team in the league is. Um, we've just got to keep looking after ourselves and. and, and you know, I've always said we're here to win the next game of football. I never sit back. I just want to win the next game of football. I think we've got the chance to beat every team in this league. But on the flip side, I know every team has got the chance to beat us as well. Um, so they will be respected and we never disrespect anyone. Um, and all we can control now is, is, is the three points we want on Saturday. And that's what we'll be aiming to get. I always imagine at the moment it must be a little bit like being a 1500 metre runner. You're just on the shoulder, if you like, of the leading pack and, uh, you know, heading into the home straight. Yeah, well, I did worry at the start of January with the amount of games we were playing and constantly catching up. You know, we've caught the games up now, bar one, and we've got some really good points on the board. So um, that's testament to the group, the players, how they are recovering well and their performances. 
uh, they want to keep the shirt but also know when they're coming out it's for the right reason so it's managing a, a whole lot of things really but it's going well. You mentioned a few knocks and niggles, um, anything major going to stop anyone from figuring? Um, possibly one but you know Ethan Fremantle's back in the fold now which is fantastic for us I think um, it's vital we get someone to to bounce off Morgs. he's put a hell of a, a lot of work in, in the last couple of weeks uh, he's been the number nine on his own really um, so it's good to have a little bit of a, of a sponge for him as well so um, we'll see on that one um, but everyone else is, is knocks and just fatigue um, but no excuses it's every club's got it at the moment and um, we've got to manage those bodies well and last question of all that I haven't asked for a few weeks Cliff Moyer um, what's the latest with him? Uh, he'll be back in full training in probably a couple of weeks, so again that's great. Full training doesn't mean he'll be available for selection, but it means he's back in full training. Probably a couple of reserve games in there and, and then we'll see how he goes for probably the last month to five weeks. I mean psychologically for him that's a great lift to be back in full training. For him for him and for us, you know, he's he's been around the group all year. Um, he's a captain and he's a leader and he's done that having this injury, so testament to him. Um, and you know, we appreciate that a lot. Brilliant, thanks Josh. Thank just want to tell one word on, on Monty as well, because I mean, it's been a frustrating season for him more than anyone kind of with, his, with, his, with his injuries and things, but especially on Tuesday where you knew exactly what type of brief he was getting going into that game, he gave you what you knew exactly you'd, you'd get, you must be pleased to see him. Yeah, well every time off he's played he's, he's never let anybody down, in fact his performances have, have, have kind of realised why we brought him to the football club. It's just not been having to select him as many times as we want this season. That's been the only disappointing thing. The lads have done it without him before Christmas, but now he's back in the fold. Oh, fantastic for me. And he's one of a few players that drive others on around him, isn't he? I mean, Cameron, as they're saying, you've got a whole dressing room on them, of course, but you know, again, that's Monty's character, isn't it? Yeah, and he'd be the same everywhere he goes. He's a captain, and um, first and foremost, he wants to respect himself, and by doing that, he puts in performances in the workload. He doesn't look unfit whatsoever. Um, every time I've put him in, he's been able to put a 90 in. Um, and again, what a what a great body to have now, fully fit. By the way, I think it's the last couple of weeks I've seen him fully fit um, to have for the next eight to ten weeks.